Morning guys, it's uh, day three of my California holiday and it is currently about 20 past seven. I've been awake for about a half hour. Um, Beth and Les are both still very much asleep. So I'm just sat out here, I've got my water and more importantly my Mountain Dew to be going on with and I'm just enjoying, enjoying the nature. At the moment, as you can see, there's not any critters out yet. Yeah, um, still pretty quiet this morning. There's a little bird over by the salt lake, just on top there. I think he's on the bird bath now. And there's a little bird over there as well. Oh, a couple of little birds in the trees. But it's not as busy as it was on my first day here. Um, I haven't seen any of the quails with their little chicks yet. I haven't, I've only seen a bunny, and he was, um, he was way the way up over there. Um, so nothing's come up yet. But in fairness, I haven't been out here long, um, so I haven't had a chance for them to get acclimatised to me. Uh, so yesterday we went to Joshua Tree which obviously I've uploaded the videos for that. Um, after Joshua Tree, we went out to, um, went out to this place for Dollar Taco Night. And I, I asked for one of each, and I got six tacos. So there was uh, bean, potato, guacamole, ground beef, shredded beef, and chicken. Um, the shredded beef really wasn't that great I wasn't fast on that one at all but so the top five in order go potato bean ground beef guacamole chicken no best so next time we go to that place for um, Donald taco night I'm probably gonna get one bean one potato and two ground beef they were they were really good really good tacos um, so yeah that was that um, we went to a couple of thrift shops including Les's one yesterday um, have a look around and get dragged around they got some cool stuff here but um, nothing really for me I guess um, I think we've got thrifting planned for today, or at least we're meeting up with um, Abby to look for a few things. And um, fortunately she has the same kind of tolerance of fish shops as I do, so we probably won't be out for long. We'll do some, I'm sure we'll be able to do some nice things at any rate. Um, but at the moment I'm just going to sit here in the sun and um and enjoy the oh, excuse me just enjoy the morning and the, the wildlife is a beautiful day again um it is water warm blue behind me as you can up here um it's clear enough that when we go behind that tree you can see that mountain in the distance oh, you can see that mountain in the distance up there and it's still early enough that you can hear the drone of cars in the distance over there and give it about eight o'clock it just stops it just goes silent so I guess it's because first thing in the morning everybody's driving and going to um, going to work and stuff Everybody's going to work. As soon as eight o'clock comes, everybody's there, and that road just just gets completely quiet. Um, I bought a kite last night. Uh, yes, mother. I know you're judging me. I know I'm embarrassing you, um, but your grown son is going to be out flying a kite later on sometime, possibly, um, possibly today. Um, because, well, because I can. <laughs> because I can is all there is to it. Um, 
but uh, anyway, this is just the morning. I'll, I've now got a, a decent app that can splice things together and, and make things work. Like lots of videos. Oh, quail. Just, yeah, that thing walking across the screen, that's a quail. Anyway, I've now got a thing that will um, allow me to splice lots of videos together. Um, it's what I used yesterday for the Joshua Tree videos. So now I'll be able to put all the videos together, but start recording them throughout the day as well. So we've got a better picture of what's going on. And then I'll upload it to YouTube and to my blog and Facebook. And in the meantime, I'm going to sit here and enjoy me some wildlife. Okay. Bye bye. I have to wear both my sunglasses because I left mine um, in the other car. But we're about half an hour, no, not even that, we're like half a mile from uh, Les's place. And look at how different it is. Look at how different. Look at all the green. You know, apart from the mountains and the sun, it's England. You know, we've got this. We've got a little thing here. Wildlife tracks to observe, so make sure that we're not being stalked by a bobcat or a coyote. But yeah, look how cool it's a it's a lovely day, and I am wearing SPF 50 again, so I don't uh, turn into a little red crisp. And here we see the rarest of all creatures in its natural habitat: the burnt out car with bird holes in the door. Cool, so we're almost out of here now, but I uh, just wanted to show the marshland. We are literally three minutes um, from Les's up in the desert, and like, this, is, this is the marshlands. There's actually greenery. Uh, we passed some water back there somewhere. Um, like just stagnant sitting water. Big old palm tree there. There's the top of it. <sighs> Massive thing. We've seen a couple of lizards. Uh, it's pretty cool. It uh, it reminds me of the swamp in Dagobah, you know, where Luke Skywalker was trained by Yoda. So, the next video, I have a picture of Luke Skywalker getting trained by Yoda. Uh, cute video. Okay. The force is strong, young one. <laughs> Point which direction I should be going. Probably the other way. Well, the, yeah, no, you, that way, okay. This way. Okay. This way. <laughs> I was hoping for more of a dramatic picture. Like that. I was just holding on for dear life. Uh, so, we've come back from thrifting, and I'm at Abby and Tony's. And obviously, they've got the little kittens, but I just want to show you the dad of the kittens. That is One Eyed Willie. Look at him, isn't he a bruiser? Yeah. <whistles> Willie! William! Yeah. He's, yeah. Like he's still got his left eye, but his right eye is just. Look at him. 